Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel. Today we're having a look at a brand new product to market. Rupes Uno Advanced Standalone Protection and Maintenance Polish. So first of all, let's just pan around back here slowly and show you these five products because it's always important to understand the range, you, you know, that a brand offers you. Now let's just separate these two for a second. It's quite simple. You have coarse blue, heavy cutting, fine cutting, polishing, the, the yellow, and you have the Uno Pure, which is an out-and-out -out finishing product, maybe just take away machine marring or very light defects or glossing up paintwork. So you could use the heavy cut and then finish out with this, or you could use the light cut and finish out with this. You could use that on its own. Um, you would probably always want to finish this one out um, if your paintwork's in good condition, you could just gloss it up. So you get the idea. And you use these with blue wool, blue microfiber or blue foam. You use this with yellow wool, yellow microfiber or yellow foam, like we've got down here. And you use this with white foam or white microfiber. There is no fine finishing wool. So wool is a little bit more... Foam finishes out better than wool, and now microfiber's got to that stage where you can actually finish out with incredibly soft microfiber as well. So that's explaining their main polishes, abrasives, and their pad choices. Now we have these two other products over here, and there are some similarities. First of all, Uno Protect. This is a one-step polish and sealant. So this is really what you'd use to cut and finish in a single go when you're under you know, time constraints, and you'd put the, a, a wax and a synthetic sealant down at the same time um, It's a blend. Um, once you start doing more sets than one, then you've got to sort of say to yourself, well, you're going to get more bang for buck. You're going to get more cut and better finish if you do dedicated sets. So this really is all about one hit, um, you know, and that's what you get. Now, the protection in Uno Protect lasts about two to three months, or up to three months, I think it's claimed. And that claim is probably pretty accurate. Um, so we know that Rupes aren't going to overclaim. Now, the thing about this product is it's a finishing product. So it's not a true single stage cut and finish like this. It's more of a finisher. So you could opt to finish with either the pure uno abrasive and you wipe away the polishing oils and you leave nothing behind so you could ceramic coat after using that or you could look to finish with this product so after cutting you could go in and finish the difference is with this finishing polish it leaves behind nano protection that lasts a claim 12 months so 12 months a massive difference in durability between the two products can this nanotechnology, these are the questions that are going through my head, be incorporated into this so that you get better durability? Or is that not kind of technically possible? I don't know. What is also the nano, the nano protection? Because nano sometimes implies like SI ceramic material, sometimes, but not always, you know. But um, Either way, the key feature is one year. This can also be used as a standalone product when you have very good paintwork and you don't want to remove lots of clear coat and you just want to gloss up your car as well. So it's, it's kind of a finishing polish all in one, if you like, whereas this is a cut and finish uh, all in one. So that explains the differences between the products. Now we're going to look at how you actually use this, which is really important. <coughs> Excuse me. So the instructions, Uno Advance contains an incredible shine and extremely durable protection in one finishing polish. Proprietary formula developed, blended and packaged in-house, I like that, by Rupes features highly technical microabrasive technology fused with state-of-the-art nano protection. Uno Advance removes minor imperfections for a variety of surfaces while leaving a durable layer of protection that provides up to 12 months protection against environmental contaminants and makes cleaning incredibly easy. Um, use Uno Advanced as a standalone solution for light correction or gloss enhancement and protection in one easy step, or as a follow-up of a more aggressive compounding. So we've just kind of covered that. Um, in either application, the service will be notice, noticeably glossier and slick to the touch. I love it when it's slick. Um, Uno Advance is uni universally compatible with all machine movement types, so rotary, 
dual action and force rotation can be used safely on non-porous on any non-porous surface including single stage you know single stage paintwork so not the older paints with no clear coat clear coat paint varnishes gel coat powder coat aluminium and more love those instructions because i know <laughs> i know how to kind of use it now and what it's for um now if we just move over here here's the actual directions for use shake the product well okay shake it before use and, and continually during the application so it's not homogenous it needs to be sh shaken up um i always do that with abrasives anyway apply the rupes ultra fine white uh, apply with the rupes ultra fine white foam pad or ultra fine microfiber pad see tips below uh, we will do prime the pad by using uh, by applying Uno Advance evenly across the pad face in a thin, even coating. Okay. Work the product in sections approximately six times the size of the polishing pad being used. That's quite small. Um, you know, typically, sometimes when you're using these to lay out the protection and do less polishing, I, I chuck them on very, very quickly. So I'm, I'm sure there's a bit of leeway in that, but we'll try and follow the instructions. Allow Uno Advance to dry on the surface for at least 15 minutes. That's a bit like the Rupes um, Uno Protect. Then wipe away the residues with a soft, clean microfiber towel. Advanced tips. Shake before use, yeah. They're just re-emphasizing that. And before reloading your pad is important. Um, you can also, so use the white pad and the white microfiber pad is recommended for light correction enhancement. You can use the medium wool yellow pad is recommended for increased defect removal. I'm, I'm sure you could probably use it with the um, yellow foam and microfiber, but they don't say that on the instructions. So you probably go with the wool, you know, if you're following the instructions, but I'm probably going to test it with the foam yellow. Um, Uno Advance will cure over a period of four hours after application. Avoid exposure to water during this time. So don't poke water at it like I do too early. Give it at least four hours. So we'll make sure we do that. I'm interested, interested to see the hydrophobicity. Uno Advance is, is not recommended for body shop applications. Interesting. Um, so perhaps some of the material in here, if it gets in the air and falls on the surfaces, um, you know, and gets in the grit when they're buzzing down clear coat, might cause issues when the paint goes on, you know. So it's not, it's, well, it looks like it's more of a detailer's product then if it's not recommended for body shops. Yeah, that's interesting. So... There's the product blurb. Um, it's new to market, and I don't have the price at the time that I'm shooting this, but I'll flash it up on the screen right now. And Rupes um, abrasives are actually very well priced. So I'm hoping there's a good price on this, but if it can deliver 12 months protection, then um, that's really good. I've not seen a sort of all-in-one or a polish and protect product that can typically do more than a couple of months. Um, so this... If this really can do a year, then that is breaking boundaries. So that's going to be interesting. What I want to do now, guys, is set up and polish the car with it, with the camera nice and close so you can see how the polish behaves and how it buffs off the panel. Let's get started on that. I'm going to just cut the video here. Okay, guys, so Rupes say to get a thin layer of the product all over the pad to, to prime it. So I still, I don't tend to do that. I tend to just put the dots on and put it on the panel and go. But let's follow the instructions. Now they have this claw tool, which is also useful for spreading the polish without getting it all over your hands, over the surface, of the pad, a bit like spreading butter. So the polish sinks, let's get a bit of fluff out there, into the pad. So we should be primed now. And we'll just get a little bit a little bit on the surface and we'll do we'll follow the advice on six times the side of the pad so we'll do one set here and one set down there see what it's like so let's just dab around it's nice it's quite thin it feels quite loose and let's just work it on sort of speed Three and a half, or we'll do the spread on speed one. Okay, crank up to speed four, 
and work this with low pressure. Now, I don't know what the exact working time for this is, but I could carry on. It's starting to break down a little bit, but I could carry on going. It's still oily, but I'm going to assume that the Rupes, like some of the other ones, it has a low processing time. So we'll go with that as the set length. Okay guys, so it's been over 15 minutes and I want to bring you in on the buff because the buff is always really important. So let's have a look at this. Hopefully there's enough light there where you can just see that film behind. So we've got our clean microfiber towel. That's really light. It's nice. It's not oily or smeary. It's really nice and it's silky as hell. So good. Yeah. Let's go over here. Just buff gently. It's so nice. Paintwork feels like smooth glass. Very easy to use. So that's pretty cool, guys. Let's just get the torch on it because you can always miss some bits. I bet, yeah, down the edges there look, where that tape is. Uh, how do I get this? There we go. Wow. That's really nice and sharp. So the camera's struggling to stay in focus. There we go. Look how sharp that is. That's really good. Yeah, <laughs> I'm enjoying that. If, well, I could be tempted to just use this on my car actually, but we'll see. Okay, so it comes off easily and the panel is looking really nice and glossy and feeling nice and slick under the microfiber. So that's a good sign for me.
Right, I'm gonna leave both those 15 minutes. Okay, guys, we're back four hours later. We've just been playing around doing the oldy slickness test on this test panel that's got the Uno Advanced and Uno Protect on different sides. And there's not that much difference in slickness. You'll probably see the advanced one just go first. When, oh, okay. And the Protect went first. But I think, watch. <laughs> There we go. That time the other one went first. So they're virtually identical. They both feel nice. They both feel nice and slick, but on the panel where I put it down, that feels incredible. A bit more sticky there and just nice and glidey. So anyway, let's have a look. Let's see what the um, Gonio photometer says. So both of the, this panel was, we used the blue coarse wool and a DA with the coarse repairs compound. You can see the area there where it was taped, where we polished. So that's what the finish from the heavy wall looks like. So they both fit, corrected the finish, but let's see what the, um, just look in the reflection for a second. So that's the Rupes Protect, the Uno Protect. Look at my hair or lack of it. You go over here. Can you see a difference in the quality of that reflection? I can't. I think the Gonio photometer is probably gonna. It's gonna be close, but let's uh, let's have a look. So twenty seventy nine dot eight. The aspect's very high. Very when that aspect's close to the gloss max, that's good. Seventy eight dot eight. Seventy seven. And 79.6. So what's our stat average? Stat average with four readings, 78.1. So let's clear 78.1. Let's go again on this side. 81.0, it's interesting. They both had the same starting point on, on Haze, 80.4. So the Uno Protect has given us more gloss 79.7, 79.5, so our stat average, oh, oh, where is it, where is it, up there, 80.2, so when given the same starting point, which, and that's the starting point, the Uno Protect on a yellow pad has given us a better finish than the Uno advanced on a white pad maybe because it just did a better job of like cutting away through the the defects so maybe on a higher gloss finish the advance would give us but anyway i'm learning stuff that's that's the readings so let's have a look at this let's put this away what i'm going to do is turn this off and take the panel outside and, and have Okay, so we're outside. You can see a good darkening effect both products have. A bit of dust and stuff over there. Let's just see what the water behavior is like. Pretty decent. Oh. They're similar. I oh, know the advance is a bit, bit more hydrophobic. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, that has a pretty good level of hydrophobicity. It's not like flinging the water off, but it's reasonably fast. And that's not massively hydrophobic, but it's still doing something. You can see the controls. So there's, well, actually I don't, well, I did polish there. There might be a bit of polish. I have panel wiped the whole thing, but probably hasn't got it all off so actually those controls aren't probably great the middle section is probably a better control but yeah there's some hydrophobicity there now we're going to try and see if we can really degrade them with um, some high ph alkalines okay so i got the panel out of the heat <laughs> ok 
cover it in this. And we just work this round and leave that on there for probably, probably about half an hour or maybe even an hour, we'll see. And I just want to see which one is degraded the most and how the, the advanced handles having that high alkaline APC sat on it. Um, so we'll be back. I'll, I'll, I might re-wet this, you know, every 10 or 15 minutes just so it doesn't dry off. Okay guys, I'm gonna rinse. I just went over it with a brush to wet it out a little bit. It's been on here for over half an hour. Here we go. Going to increase the pressure. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's still going though, that one as well. It's pretty good though. Let's just put it in the middle. Turn it off. It's, it's completely flat, the panel. So we probably need to put a bit of an angle on it. But yeah, you can see the Uno Advanced is still there. And the roof, the, this is as well. Let's just put it up at an angle. Bear with me. So look. Yeah, big difference. Big difference. The you know, protect has really been smashed down. Whereas the advance is still going. The level of hydrophobicity is much higher. And still, let's just go back to normal spray. It's taken a little bit of a hit, but, but you can see the difference. Yeah, they're both still there because you can also still see the difference. Oh no, but that might be the abrasive, so you can't go go on that look. So, okay, guys. So, Uno Advance definitely the protection element in it is very very good for a you know a polish and protect type product um this is kind of like the normal standard maybe two to three months this is outperforming this a long way in that chemical resistance test which isn't a real test it's just a quick way of looking at it you know the ultimate way is to put it on your car and see how it's doing in a year's time but that's pretty impressive that is um the question i've got in my head is can they put the nan the nano protection product into the um uno protect because the one thing about this advanced product is it does really leave the paintwork feeling lovely and silky um which i like um so it's obviously a new material you know they're claiming sort of easier to clean so maybe self-cleaning or a bit of dirt repellency which is cool so maybe that'll happen who knows you know you don't bring one product in and then just get rid of the other one. I sp maybe they're going to think about doing that later on. Um, but it's very simple, isn't it, with the Rupes range? You've got your pure abrasives there, and you've got a single stage cut and finish and a finishing polish with this advanced, um, you know, protection in it, which seems very durable. So that's it for this one, guys. Thank you very much for watching. See you soon on the Forensics Detailing Channel. Bye for now. Where was I when you